Athena has now broken Samoa Joe's record of being the longest reigning Ring of Honor world champion in all of Ring of Honor history. So she has made history once again. <laughs> she is champion today, makes 646 days as champion. And at first, if you saw, you may have seen the original title, which was that she tied Samoa Joe because according to Cage Match, they're tied today and she breaks it tomorrow. But I don't know if it's the time zone difference and maybe that's playing into it. But uh, ROH decided they could make a graphic. <laughs> Holy crap. I know. I saw. Fine. It, they finally did it. They did it. Yay, social media team. <laughs> Ray. Not only did they make a graphic, but they did an ROH timeline, which they've been doing. They do that at AW lot where they'll do a timeline and they'll post it to YouTube and it'll be the, the history of whatever they're, you know, the, it'll be a history of some feud. Like they did one with Willow and Chris and it was like how we got to this point with them. So they have done, they posted one this morning of Athena and it's a timeline of her entire title run. Um, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Uh, we'll hopefully get to it uh, within this week. Um, cause I am going to try to write about her, her title run, but so they have at least done those two things <laughs> to announce it. And so, um, Athena also tweeted this, uh, little video, um, and said that she had, she did a thing yesterday and she kind of panned around a room and there's a, there's a black dress and then there was a purple, a sparkly purple dress. And she's hinting and she said something a few days ago. She is hinting about doing a, a celebration for this for her her, his, her history making milestone that she had today so thank god roh appears to <laughs> be doing Finally something to actually to actually do something to celebrate this instead of just you know i said it before they didn't do when she hit 600 days they didn't even acknowledge it on their social media they didn't read athena tweeted something about it they didn't even retweet it <laughs> didn't post about it at all then commentary was like hey athena passed 600 days as champion and then they're like and then every week commentary and roh has said you know she's getting close to breaking samojo's records they are at least talking about it to an extent but aw television has not mentioned it once they have the <laughs> world champion on tv all the time he was on there last night and used his title as a weapon because mortos attacked uh who did he? He attacked Hologram after their match last night. And so he used his ROH championship to, to hit him. Uh, United Kingdom, when they had, or uh, uh, Undisputed Kingdom, when they had the titles, they were on there all the time. They have, they have uh, Sammy and Dustin on there all the time as trios at War Tag Team. Still never mention, hey, did you know Athena surpassed 600 days as champion? No, never even said it on commentary. No. Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> will they will they acknowledge it on, on Dynamite? Probably not. LaRon was saying that <laughs> LaRon said that they should have Athena on Dynamite this week. I will put her on put her on every single show this week. That'd let be her, great. <laughs> let her title or right, let her uh championship uh mouse or celebration put it on Dynamite, put it on Honor Club, put it on Rampage, put it on Collision. There you go. <laughs> Make the round. We're at a grand slam. Just show her off. <laughs> yeah, right. Make a big deal about it. Make it because it Use is it. Use huge. that. This your is your women's division is the best thing you, going for you in your main show. You may as well highlight the fact that you have this too. <laughs> right. You would think. I mean, I mean just, I'm just we're just throwing out some one you know, girl's some opinion. Thoughts, and I, just throwing out some thoughts and ideas for you that you know. This is a very historic thing that she's Pretty done in deal. a historic title. I mean, she's broken. She's made history so many times. She's, you know, she is, I believe, if, if I'm not mistaken, she is 54 and O in ROH sanctioned matches. Oh. She is the first woman to main event a pay-per-view in ROH. She's also the first woman to main event two, I believe three now. No, it's the two two pay-per-views she's the first black woman to do so along with with willow um which is huge it is also huge that a black woman has broken this record because we know how black wrestlers have been treated uh in history uh in 
in ROH and WWE and other promotions there. It took a very long time for for black people to become champions in WWE. And it wasn't until more recently that it happened more often. And so it is a huge deal for Athena as a woman to break this record and as a black woman to break this record. Um, and to surpass Samoa Joe is a huge deal. Is Samoa a Joe deal. is one of ROH's best He's wrestlers there. He, yeah, he is. He is. If there is an ROH Hall of Fame, Samoa Joe would probably be one of the first ones to go in. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> He's, I mean, sure, there's Danielson and you know Punk and thing and Nigel McGuinness, <laughs> and there are a lot of names, but Samoa Joe is somebody that a lot of people associate with with ROH, um, not just from his most recent run, but prior when ROH was you had to be a tape trader <laughs> basically mm -hmm. to, to see their shows so Joe was a big part of that and to have Athena surpass that is monumental I feel like that is how you get I mean we've talked about this a million times she anchors the women's division in ROH she is the star of that brand the brand revolves around her um, she has been, she was injured earlier this year. So that has affected the number of matches she's had, um, this year. And she, there's times that she was not on TV and they were also giving her some well-deserved time off because she has carried that company on her back since before our honor club was even on, uh, yeah. was even back because she won the title prior to honor club being launched, relaunched. So she's had that title for a very long time. And and it all started with that Jody Threat match on Dark that got them some heat because they just beat the crap out of each other and got in trouble for it. And that set Athena on the path that she's on now. And that's, um, that's you know, it's just, it's massive what she has done. And to be the focal point of that company and have the story. And then not only is the focus Athena, she has brought other women up with her. She yeah. has brought, she has taken Billy Starks under her wing and Billy is already a wrestling prodigy on her own, on her own. But then you put her under Athena who has been her mentor and you've taken Lexi Nair from just being a backstage reporter to being a huge part of their story. And she still is a huge part of the story that they're telling right now. And then you have her, she's wrestled, all kinds of she's wrestled people like from you know she's wrestled Mia, Mia Yamash, uh, Mia, uh Yamashita she's wrestled um she's wrestled so she's wrestled uh, Mercedes Martinez Willow just like there's countless names both big names and small names and up and coming names that so she has and she's had proving ground matches which you know that mm -hmm. the whole, whole of her conversation about that Man, but she's so left these women. She's had like Maya World, who is somebody that she is helping, who was a, a protege of hers in real life. And Maya World has come in and has had a proving ground match with her. And she's had a couple matches since then in ROH itself. You have um you have all these, you know, you have up and comers who were in the ring with her. So it's not just been about Athena, but Athena has been building up other women around her and she has taking taken them with her. You've got Red Velvet and Queen Aminata who have both had matches with her. Red, uh, Red Velvet is currently the ROH Women's TV Champion. You have Queen Aminata who is having incredible matches both in ROH and in AEW. She is now in the, the picture with Serena Deeb. She started that feud. Um, and so Athena has just, it's not just been her. She has built up everything around her, which I think is incredible. That's just as incredible as breaking Samoa Joe's record to me um, for yeah. what she has done for this division. 